Hi guys, thank you so much for joining us today. For those of you joining us for the first time, welcome! welcome. <laughs> and for those of you returning, we appreciate your support. Today, I am excited for three reasons. Number one, I get to bake. And for those of you that know me prior to this channel, I love to bake. Baking just puts me in a really great space. I used to own a baking business back in the day, prior to my little one being born. So I absolutely love to bake. So this is a great one for me today because I feel just like I'm at home, right? Number two, I get to bake with my little one. And who doesn't love to bake with their little one? And she loves cooking with me in the kitchen. So she's really excited today. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. My name is Peyton. Yes, and we are so excited to be baking with you guys today. Number three, the third reason why I'm excited is because I get to collab with one of my YouTube sisters. She is absolutely awesome. She has taken YouTube by storm. Her name is April Christine, and she has two beautiful little girls and a newlywed. She has an uh, awesome husband that she talks about often on her channel, and she has some awesome, awesome videos. I want you to head over to her channel, check her out, and make sure you tell her that I sent you. Now, Without further ado, let's find out what is this collab about. Well, Thanksgiving is coming up in just a few weeks for those of you watching when we first upload. This is coming in a few weeks. And a lot of us usually get the duty of bringing dessert to family dinner. So a lot of questions is like, what do I bring? Do I just grab something from the supermarket? Well, you could do that. Or you can make one of these two super easy recipes. She's going to be making banana pudding and I am going to be making pumpkin bread now my pumpkin bread is not just your average of course I always add a little something on the top it's going to be a marble marshmallow cream cheese topping on the top it is absolutely gorgeous when you bring this to dinner child they're gonna be like oh what is that and what supermarket did you get that from or what bakery did you get that from you're gonna say honey chez moi I made it myself it was super easy and shout out to the For the Love of Peyton channel because she's the one that gave me this recipe. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so let's jump right in. What we're going to do is we are just going to have Peyton take the reins on this. Now, if you are going to be cooking with your child, I think this is a great opportunity. The biggest thing that I would suggest is prep, prep, prep. So I'm going to show you guys how I was able to prep everything so that if you are cooking with someone that's a little bit younger and you want them to really feel like they're taking the lead on it and still get everything in there and not make too much of a mess this is how you do it all right Peyton so as I said you're gonna take the reins on this one are you excited yes I'm so excited okay cool so she knows how to use this mixer we've used it before right Peyton yes that's true we also made cupcakes with this when we were younger I think Yes, and brownies, and we made some cornbread with this. So she's had some experience with this. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how I usually prep everything if I do want her to take, you know, the lead on baking and make her feel like she's leading the experience. So what I do is I pre-measure everything, and then I just tell her when to put it in. And then she feels like she's the one that bakes everything. And so preparation is key. It took me maybe two minutes to put all of this together. I will have the recipe below, but essentially what we have here are your eggs. In here we have some salt, baking powder, and some different spices. We have um, nutmeg, we have uh, cinnamon, cinnamon. Um, we also have um, some uh, ground cloves, and uh, I think we also have, um, what was in here, cinnamon. Uh, nutmeg oh and I added a little pumpkin spice in there which is like a mixture of different spices um, I just like the way that gives it a little extra um, spice to it now this one here we have some flour and then of course we just have our vegetable oil here and then what we like to add and it's very important you want to get the unsweetened okay unsweetened um, pumpkin and uh, pumpkin puree and then this makes things a lot easier you can use the pumpkin from scratch which I've done several times but the only thing is you got to be very careful because pumpkin is very water based so you're gonna have to drain all that water out or else your um, pumpkin bread will be too watery so now we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna get all of these ingredients into here Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna pour in the vegetable oil and we are going to pour in the sugar. Now, typically when you're starting off any type of bread or cupcake, you cream, butter, and sugar, but this one calls for vegetable oil. So you're going to cream, if you will, the vegetable oil and the sugar till it's well combined. Once it's well combined, you're going to go ahead and add in the eggs. Now, my little one added them all in at the same time by accident, 
you should really add them in one at a time um, and let it get a bit incorporated and then add the next one. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add in the pumpkin puree. As I mentioned before, it is very, very important that you get the unsweetened version because if you do get the sweetened version, the bread is not going to set right and it's going to be way too sweet because in this recipe you have equal parts flour and sugar. Next thing you're going to do is put the dry ingredients together. You're going to combine them well and then you're going to incorporate the flour and the water some flour, I mean some of the dry ingredients, excuse me, some of the water, flour, water, flour, water, end with flour. So we've gotten the pumpkin bread portion done. Peggy did a great job. Oh, thank you, mommy. You're welcome, child. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the topping. The topping is super easy, but we what we wanna do first is get the pumpkin bread batter into our loaf pan. We're gonna pan this. Whoa, can I try? No, I'm just gonna take care of this part. You did the first part. You took the hardest part, child. That was the hardest part, and you did it all by yourself. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just pour this You're doing the easy part now? Yeah, this is the easier part. Can I do the easy part to help? Let mama take care of this part, okay? That's right. Okay, so now the next part, what we're gonna do is the topping. Real easy, real quick. I'm just gonna grab the spoon. I will put the recipe for this at the bottom. But pretty much what you're doing is you want it to, you're making almost, think about like making like cream cheese. Um, I'm sorry, like a cheesecake. So you want this to have a little bit of a breading to it. So that's why I'm gonna add just, I'd say about two tablespoons. Again, I'll put the recipe down at the bottom, but you wanna put a couple tablespoons of flour because that will help it bind. What you wanna do is also put an egg that will also help with the binding. So we've got one egg here. Whoa. Yep. And the next thing Daddy. we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of sugar for the sweetness. What for you had sugar before? That was for the pumpkin bread, baby. But now we are making the topping. That is a whole other bowl. Okay. I'm just yeah. gonna add a scoop of marshmallow fluff. God, so delicious. And then I'm gonna add the cream cheese. All the, the marshmallow is going to do is just make it sweeter. Real easy. And then, back up just a little bit, Mama. What we're going to do is we're going to mix all of this together. Oh, before I forget, we're going to have a little vanilla. Mmm. We're actually going to look like chocolate for the coat. And yeah, the vanilla has a little bit of a color to it. Okay, so you're gonna get this well blended and then what you're going to do is you're gonna pour in half the batter and you're going to put some dollops of the cream cheese um, topping and then you're gonna take a knife and do a marble swirl. Then you're gonna do the same thing, uh, pour the rest of the batter and do that marble again. You're gonna place it in that oven and this is the amazingness that comes out. Now, once it's out of the oven, I'd wait about 45 minutes before digging in. And you'll notice that when it comes out, it has a beautiful crust outside and it's nice and moist on the inside. You've got to see what it looks like once we cut into this perfection. Okay, Peyton, so tell me what you think. It's yummy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is it nice and warm still? Yes. Good, baby. Thank you guys so much for staying with us until the end. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.